Okay, this video is about how to compartmentalize your private life and your professional life. If you're working at home or being a self-entrepreneur, you know, it's sometimes quite difficult not to mix both worlds. And I have a few tips for you guys. For starters, it's very useful to define times when you're working and times when you're not working or days when you're going to work like focus on that and days when you are going to relax and spend time with your beloved ones or whatever you like to do during your free time. So you have to decide on which day and which hours you are going to work and not work. For example, you can decide to work from Monday to Friday, um, not working during the weekend and you can pick working hours from 8 to 12 and from 2 to four, for example, or whatever you want to choose. And in order to achieve that, then you have to have a few tricks, you know. <laughs> for example, um, when you are in holiday, like an official holiday for you, you have decided that you are going to camp in the mountains or, I don't know, go in some island or just spend some time with your family. And you want to have some free days for that and you don't want to be disturbed by work. These tricks are important because I think that compartmentalizing your professional life and your private life is going to help you relax more when you have decided not to work. It's good to have some control over your emails and your phone. Well, I use an autoresponder for my emails when I decide to be in holiday or when I decide to not to work for a few days so that I know that if my clients write to me, I know that they're going to have an answer and they know that I'm not available and I can relax and they can give the work to someone else. And thanks to these emails, they're going to know when I will be available again and they should not write me again until this date. And as for the phone, you can also have an autoresponder. You can do it yourself or you can even transfer the calls to someone else, a colleague, for example, or his secretary, or you can even pay... Um, another secretary to take your phone calls, you know, get the messages and, you know, write the appointments. It's good for you so you don't lose too many clients and yeah, that's a good idea and then you can relax on your side and you don't have to answer these emails and these phone calls. And secondly, um, it's good to have a different phone number for professional use and for private use. You don't have to do that but it can be a good trick. You can also have an email for professional purposes and a different one for private purposes. If you have a different phone number, it's easy to leave the pro phone at work and then you will not even see the calls when you're in your private life. And if you have a work email, you can just stop opening it and you will not even see the emails when you're out of your business hours. And conversely, what do you do if your family tries to contact you when you're at work? And then if you want to be efficient at work, it's good to have a special room where your family doesn't enter. And in this room, you can focus on work, accountability or new clients, all of the stuff that you're doing at work and nobody's going to disturb you. And you can tell to your family, OK, from eight to ten, I'm going to work. I don't want to be interrupted. But yeah, at 10, I will go out of that room and yeah, I'm going to uh, have some water and stuff. And then you can tell me stuff if you have things to tell me. And then I'm going to work again from 10 to 12, for example. And please don't interrupt me. I know I really don't like to be disturbed when I'm doing my accountancy. I really need to focus when I'm doing some tasks. So in this case, I tell to the people that live with me not to disturb me for about 20 minutes, for example, and if they understand, if you communicate well, it's going to be fine. Okay, and then if you have small kids that don't really understand that they cannot disturb you, it's good to have a special room where you close the door and... Or if you have um, pets, <laughs> it can be tricky too. Huh? Some pets can be really annoying. Most of the pets are not annoying, but... <laughs> okay, let's say you have a cat and you have, it has dirty paws and it's working on your papers on your desk, it, no, it's really annoying. You have to find a solution for that, like keep the door closed or, I don't know, <laughs> explain to the cat that uh, it's forbidden to jump here. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> or 
if your family members disturb you too much at work when you're trying to work in a separate room with a door closed, then there is another solution. You can rent an office alone or with other people in a totally different place, not at home. Yeah, you can share that office with other people that try to work. They don't have to do the same job than you. Working in the same office and other people can be a good idea because you can share the rent and yeah, that's good. You have maybe tried to work in the common rooms at home, but you will probably notice that it's not working so well. It's hard to focus. Your family members would be tempted to interact with you all the time. So it's better to work in a separate room. It's better for everyone. And I also suggest not to talk too much about work at home and not to talk too much about your private life at work. Keep the details for yourself. If you struggle to find motivation to work, if you don't feel in the right condition to work, well, there are still a few tips that you can try. You can use working clothes, something that looks really serious and that makes you feel professional, more serious. And even if no one is coming to your office, it's still good for your self-esteem. Some people need to look professional in order to feel professional. Well, it's not really my case. I can work in PGs, you know, but I still go to the bathroom and I wash myself before starting to work. Sometimes I like to wear pajamas when I'm working from home, but usually I just wear something comfortable. It can be a dress, it can be anything, just not, uh, you know, the tight, uh, small working outfits because I really don't like suits. But you can try all these tips and it will probably help you um, work in a more efficient way and compartmentalize better your both lives. Um, th that being said, I think it's important to have limits and find your own limits, your own boundaries that will help you be more efficient in everything you're doing. I believe that moderation is bullshit. Uh, moderation motivation doesn't last. You have to be organized and have a, a routine that works. And for that, you have to think about a strategy. You have to try a few different things and you're going to find out what is working for you. Okay, what works the best for you guys when you're working at home? What helps you most being productive and being happy in your pro and private life? Tell me. <laughs> and I wish you a lot of success by finding where your boundaries are. Don't forget to give me a like. Ciao.